it's technology, it's healthcare, it's Moderna, like here, right here to tell us more is CIO Brad Miller. And Brad, thanks for hanging out and coming out here. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. You know, um, Moderna, they may have started off um, as a medical research company, but it's really transformed into a technology platform. I would arguably say a juggernaut. And back 10 years ago, would you have expected to be a part of this organization today even? Never. Uh, 10 years ago, I was working at Amazon on payments, and today I'm in the healthcare industry. Uh, but the patterns apply from how you build great systems. We need to build those great systems at Moderna so that we can deliver the best medicines to our customers. You know, a lot of people, they come to CES. We know there's these established technology brands that are here that everyone expects to see. Um, but also, this supports companies that are involved in cutting edge technologies. And so, yep. I got to imagine a lot of people are watching, they're wondering like, okay, why is Moderna here? What, what, what are they bringing to the table from a tech standpoint that they don't know about? Yeah, I think a lot of people don't understand that we are actually an information-based company to begin with, and we're a digital first company. Mm -hmm. uh, when you think about how we're delivering medicines, I don't think there's anything more consumer, customer focused than uh, a medicine going into somebody's arm. And how, uh, when you look to the future, in personalized medicine, it's gonna become even more and more important that we focus on that consumer first. And so we've started off back uh, you know, 10, 12 years ago using AI and mm -hmm. using data and um, using technology and digital capabilities to begin with. And from there, we've just grown. And for you as the CIO, right, you're, you're keeping on the pulse of what's happening around the technology space. What are maybe you prioritized or focused on to kind of keep this momentum of Moderna and all the different changes that are happening around technology? Yeah, it's really interesting to be in a role now where I'm providing enablement of technology to enable the business to do good. Um, and so my goal is really to ride the wave of innovation. Um, there's a lot of innovation that's happening out there. If you look just this last year alone with Gen AI, mm. um, we couldn't just say we're going to be with one partner. We had to figure out how to partner with many different capabilities so that we can ensure we could pivot fearlessly. We're doubling down on multiple options at the same time. And that allows us to have the flexibility to build and, and understand what's happening in the market and do learning, like test and learn, so that we can bring the best products to market the fastest. Well, you said, you know, alludes to a little buzzword here uh, yeah. in the tech space, AI, generative AI. And we know that this is a big topic, but also, you know, it's, Generative AI is another evolution of what has been going on for quite some time. Uh, what are the, some of the advantages that you have learned over time with Moderna that AI has offered you, and you guys are really an early adopter of this, and you've seen it evolve, so what are some of those advantages for you as a company? Yeah, um, one of the first things that we did is, we didn't run away from Gen AI, like mm -hmm. a lot of companies were shutting down, like, you know, don't go to open AI, and we were actually embracing it. Uh, so we ran towards it. And what we did is we even built our own, what we call Moderna Chat, MChat. <laughs> so we built our own internal version of MChat so that we could explore it with our employee base. And what we've seen is we've seen it transform how people work. And so when you think about the development of drug, whether it be from R&D side of things or clinical development where we're looking to answer questions and get information back in, very data centric, whether it's manufacturing processes or regulatory or even commercial, all of those benefit from Gen AI uh, in terms of how we've implemented it at Moderna. Were, were there, as you, you, know, you talk about adopting it, pretty being very open about it, were there maybe areas where you're like, okay, let's not push 100% in, but kind of navigate it at the same time a, a little carefully, or you're like, let's just do it, you know? No, how, how we, you... Were, we were very thoughtful <laughs> of, of that. You're really changing the mindset. Like mm -hmm. early on, people were using Gen AI as a search engine. It's not, it's a conversation engine. Mm -hmm. um, and so getting people to think differently. And so we went through the process of transformation of people's mindsets. We started with like, yeah, make it talk like a pirate. Right, and then from there, uh, get answers that are really in tune with the work that you're doing. And then from there, we taught them prompt engineering. And then from there, we moved on to like our own specific chatbots for all the different areas, like a legal chat or a healthcare chat, or sorry, a, a benefits chat mm -hmm. for our HR department. And so we've been exploring how we're bringing our people through. To date, over 70% of our population, our workforce is using MChat internally. So it's been a huge success. And we're seeing hours, not minutes, but hours be removed from the pipeline of how we get a drug from ideation to out the door. When you take all the little pieces and the impact of Gen AI across all that, it adds up significantly in terms of lives saved faster, which is what our goal is.
You know, I, I had it when you talked about like a pirate chat for Moderna. <laughs> what, 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 like, did it say like Moderna? Uh, did you guys use that internally? That's exactly no, we didn't. You didn't, but you, that's a missed have. opportunity. Absolutely. I should. I mean, I'm not an AI guy, but I'm a yeah. marketing guy. No, I'm but just that kidding. is really how we got people excited to show all the fun side of it. Yeah. And then once you have the fun side of it, let's now make it serious and yeah. let's have it solve real business problems. And that's where we've seen the growth. You talk about about 70% of your workforce using, um, you know, the MChat. Are there other ways that AI is being used uh, across your employee force just to get them more comfortable with it or optimize what they're doing? Yeah, what we learned early on, it was it was basic chat mm -hmm. um, that's happening. And then the use cases became more and more complicated. Mm -hmm. And so we had to actually start building engineering software around the idea that a business person's bringing forward. And that's where we came to the notion that there's not just going to be one M chat. There's going to be lots of little chats um, that are very specific and very ingrained into the user flow of that of that capability of that of that persona, mm. um, so that they don't have to leave and go to M chat and then come back. And so we're putting it in line and in flow with the work. And that's that's where it's starting to get really sticky. I think it's really fascinating because really this is not only is this new technology, but to your point. Technology also comes with changing human behavior, right? Yep. It's how we interact, how do we accept, how do we feel comfortable with these things? Yep. And uh, that, that's always been a challenge for technology period, right? Yeah. One of the neat things that Moderna has is we have a learning mindset. And so we have what we call an academy. Given we're birthed out of research and we're mm -hmm. birthed out of education environment, um, we have an academy and one of the academies is the AI Academy. And so we had inside Moderna the foundation to be able to teach our employee base um, through our AI Academy how to use Gen AI already. So a very, very inquisitive, very curious workforce with a foundation of how to learn. Mm -hmm. And then you take those two things together and it was it was blast off for, for our organization. That, that's cool. You know, we're here at CES, the largest tech showcase convention. You know, I call it the tech mecca every year that we all come to. You guys are here um, with your presence at CES. <laughs> What do you maybe want people to take away from you being here and maybe some of the things you are also doing here at CES? Yeah, thanks. Um, well, first and foremost, as I said in my, in my opening, like we are a tech first. We're, we're a tech first company that's solving really important problems at scale for the world. And we do it in a digital way, leveraging data. And mm -hmm. so that's at the core of who we are. So that to me makes us fit here at CES. And then you start adding on what I do want everybody to know about and what my, uh, our president, Stephen Hogue, will be talking about on Thursday. Um, he'll be talking about individualized cancer vaccine care and individualized vaccines, mm. personalized vaccine, personalized medicine. When you start getting to that level, that is consumer meets medicine mm -hmm. in a very unique uh, way um, that is going to uh, really have an impact on the world, especially when we're doing it the way we are at scale. You know, as the CIO, I, I talked about how you have your pulse on a lot of different things. Is there anything in the tech world, any type of technologies or things that are happening that you're really excited to kind of focus in or look towards in the next, I know this is a big five to 10 years, but yeah. where, where, where are you looking at? Well, it's funny. I didn't know a year ago that I'd have my own <laughs> version of MChat inside uh -huh. of uh, Moderna. And that's how fast things have been moving. Obviously, continuing doubling down on AI, um, we believe we should become um, uh, you know, an AI, a real-time AI company, mm -hmm. um, given how pervasive it is used and the leverage we're getting out of it. Um, but we have partnerships with IBM, with quantum computing, that's really helping us solve really hard engineering problems, really hard research problems. But at the end of the day, um, in, in the transformation that we're going through at Moderna, nailing the basics and actually operation, like engineering operations, excellence is really important to how we mm -hmm. build. And so foundationally, we've stood up teams that are building net new capabilities like builder tools for software developers and data scientists and hardening our security postures. And so we're building our cloud infrastructure. And so we're building a lot of foundational services mm -hmm. that will allow us to scale. We have a goal of having 15 uh, drugs in market within five years. And you can't do that if we're gonna keep doing things the way we are. So we're really shifting how we enable fast throughput of capability and we're doing that with technology. It's all about the foundation, baby. It's all about the foundation that you build on. <laughs> all right, well, thank you. Thank you so much, Brad. This Thanks is great so to much. talk to you. Really hey, great if to you all want to learn more about the power of mRNA, check out ModernaTX.com.